Actually, I targeted some more score around uh, six yeah. fifty or seven yeah. hundred. Yeah, but... this is something you know. He he was yeah. he was uh, saying yeah. that you know I was expecting more than six fifty, but I could only score six not eight. I told him six not eight. It is very very good score. You know, people yeah. don't even. Right. reach to to that extent you know so so your current score itself is so good you know <laughs> but yeah. he was saying that you know yeah, he was expecting uh, you know more than that you know he was very confident you know after giving the exam you know yeah about the scores but i took uh, that uh, as a challenge actually because uh, uh, with knowing a little uh, knowledge in it background so so i want to show this uh, this we can and <laughs> we can get good score Hello everyone welcome to Sisa this much this is Aditya and today we have with us Tanushat who has recently cleared his Sisa exam you know so uh, first of all you know heartiest congratulations for clearing the exam and for you know joining us to share your experience so how does it feel you know so i think i think you have cleared uh, two weeks back yes uh, i did the exam uh, 10th of uh, this month 10th of this month yeah, yeah 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 so how does it feel and you know so this is my first question to you like you know since you have cleared uh, this is one of the difficult certification you know so how does it feel clearing this exam it was great actually <laughs> uh actually it's uh, it's uh, i have to thank a lot for you sir uh, to uh, uh, clear this exam without uh, uh, much difficulties uh actually when i was start i thought how can i pass this exam uh when i solved the question uh i got no so then finally uh while following your classes uh, i was able to uh, score more than 7 8 out of 10 for mcqs so there i have uh, yeah there i uh, have created to uh, Pass this exam. Yeah. So, guys, you know, we'll be asking him so many questions, you know, based on his, you know, background and experience and everything, you know. So, uh, you know, uh, I would like, uh, you know, uh, you to introduce yourself, like your your academic qualification, your experience background, and what made you choose CISA. Like, you know, what was it one thing which because you know de- definitely you you might be having lots of years of experience, you might be in a very good. Uh, level in wherever you are working so what made you you know decide to do this exam you know at this stage of your life yeah i have uh, actually completed uh, my degree at uh, university of sri jayawardenepura colombo sri lanka uh, in 2011 and uh, i am uh, char- yeah actually it took me uh, around 9 months uh, because uh, when i was uh, start uh, this uh, journey i have followed this uh, CISA review was conducted by our local chapter, so there I uh, started to uh, solve questions. Uh, uh, we know the official QA is there, so then especially uh, for uh, domain number three and four and five. So I found some of the questions are uh, uh, difficult for me because uh, uh, those are uh, two technical areas. So then. Uh, actually when i was uh, started to search some videos in youtube there only i found uh, one of your video so uh, that is uh, if i have not mistaken that video is in on uh, encryption there you have show that uh, cyber text how to uh, change and all and uh, so for a non from a non it background i was able to understand clearly those concepts so so i took a little time because uh, since i am a non it person and uh, so yeah and i want to go through this in a first attempt so that's why i took 9 uh, months so yeah, but it's different on person to person based on their knowledge and uh, experience uh, yeah some might uh, can finish within 6 months yeah 
Yeah, by the way, you know, again, you know, he he has scored six, not eight, you know, which is a very good score, you know, too. And uh, and actually, I was also, you know, saying to him that, you know, uh, you know, you can be under, uh, you know, rank in your local chapter because getting a score of above 600, it is a very good score and very difficult, you know, to get to that level. So even after, you know, not from the IT background, he was able to get that score. So see, even though, you know, uh, I, th- I think th- this is something I have also told in my last interview that even if he has taken nine months of time, it's not about the duration. But main important thing is that he was able to, you know, go through everything. He was able to study everything. His concepts, his fundamentals, everything was cleared. And the also, uh, uh, you know, he was able to score, you know, such a good marks, you know, so which he can definitely put, you know, uh, uh, you know, in his CV uh, to, uh, you know, uh, uh, yeah. So uh, my next question to you will be, you know, like, do you really feel that, that there is a need to understand uh, concepts behind everything or, or like like do you feel is there any shortcut to clear this exam like like because you know uh, i i get lots of inquiries saying that you know we have one month of time we have two months of time you know we cannot uh, study for a, a longer uh, period so like is there any shortcut to clear this exam or do you need to have conceptual understanding uh, to clear this exam, you know, and to face this exam very confidently. Yeah, we, we have to thorough uh, in uh, each and every concept. You can't uh, uh, study for a one, one month and uh, pass, I don't think, because uh, you have to plan. Uh, when I was uh, enrolled your session uh, so in, uh, somewhere around uh, April, so I watched the old videos uh, twice and uh, I did the uh, unit exams. Uh, so whenever I get uh, got uh, incorrect answers, I uh, go through the justifications. Then I re-attempt uh, those uh, unit exams. So and mock exam, uh, there were seven mock exams. So I did all the uh, things and prepared well and understand the each and every concept uh, very well because uh, the questions uh, uh, there won't be uh, yeah there can be small number of uh, similar questions. And they will uh, check the concept only. So without uh, uh, taking a shorter time, so better to understand each and every concept. And uh, with the confidence, uh, if you go to the exam, uh, uh, without any issue, you can uh, solve uh, questions. There's no doubt. Okay, thanks. Yeah, yeah. So my next question to you will be like, you know, how to manage your studies with your full time job since you are also a full time working professional. Like how you used to study, like you know, uh, like whether you should study in the morning or in the evening after you know finishing your work. Like what used to be your schedule? Yeah. So like I am uh, busy at office. Uh, I have uh, three kids, <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. I am uh, busy at uh, home also. So uh, what I do, uh, I somehow allocate two hours uh, in every day to uh, studies. So I, I did this for around uh, four to five months. So uh, before the exam, uh, I took uh, one week, uh, like one week leave uh, and uh, study uh, for the full time. Uh, and uh, if you take the time, actually morning hours. So morning hours are very effective than uh, other hours. Because uh, even if you if you can uh, study uh, around half an hour, it will be uh, very useful. So I uh, use the morning hours uh, to study. So uh, one week of leave, you know, it uh, uh, like according to you, it is necessary, right? Like before giving the exam, so everyone yeah, should take yeah. it. So like like uh, you know, uh, did that one week help you go to the uh, go through the entire. Uh, revision process like like what was the role of the la- last one week uh, again you know yeah. this is a new question which i'm asking you because you have just uh, mentioned about that one week uh this thing i normally don't ask this question but again you know th- this could be a, a good question because see if 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 i know i'm working professional and i know i want to give the exam on this particular date so should i plan my leave you know uh you know with my office one or two weeks before the exam like like does that one week has importance? Yeah, that one week is very important, crucial week uh, because uh, you have to revise only the questions. 
so you 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 don't have time to uh, revise the theory and uh, concepts uh, those thing in final moment so you have to revise uh, the questions and understand the concept very clearly so there are many changes between uh, questions if you go to the q and a there are uh, small changes between the questions so so you have to understand uh, the uh, you also mentioned uh, several time you have to understand the uh, isaka's mindset so so the the way of uh, how they are uh, uh, preparing the questions so if you have a clear idea about that uh, yes you can uh, definitely go through the yeah, the final week uh, you have to spend entirely for uh, uh, revising the questions only okay okay yeah so my next question to you is how was your overall experience with als you know so since the uh, you know uh, you as you were saying that you know you you just came across one youtube video you know which helped you understand the yeah. concepts and everything so like how was uh, like our role in your uh, success journey yeah first of all i have to thank god because uh, uh, one of my friend told if you have uh, any difficulties in concept you can uh, uh, watch videos in youtube so uh, he he didn't recommend uh, your uh, name sir but uh, when i uh, searched the things uh, i uh, yeah i found uh, one of videos so there i have started uh, that uh, that particular video is uh, encryption so then uh, i have uh, watched this uh, domain 2 entirely available for free so then i have decided to enroll you the uh, cisa this much uh, uh, ap application so there i have uh, very confident uh, from the day one itself uh, i started to believe actually while uh, watching your video more than the exam i learned lot of things the, the it thing so, so if i take example lot of things uh, encryption osi model biometrics the cash function especially so so there was a question on ca cash function so when i searched the google i, I could not understand uh, based on the Uh, explanation given in the google so but uh, in your session that you are nicely explained how the cash function is working <laughs> in the final exam there was a question also okay and uh, uh, what you have offer is very cheap actually uh, uh, 100 dollars if i have not mistaken yeah <laughs> it's it's uh, what i have learned is uh, the value is uh, more than uh, much more than the uh, what i have paid actually so those are with with those thing uh, anybody can uh, go through uh, this uh, cisa in a first attempt yeah no uh, you know you know what but the thing is that i would also like to add here something that you know it is his yeah. hard work also see because you have to understand one thing you know see, he 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 graduated long back he did all his studies long back you know so for him again going through the process of studying something you know opening a book you know giving test watching lectures you know revising things you know definitely you know it 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 might sound easy but it it is not that easy process you know and uh, you know doing whatever things is required you know uh, trusting the process doing the things consistently as what he was saying every day 2 hours he, he should study in the morning see i i have uh, you know i get so many messages saying that you know uh, you know we, we were unable to study you know uh, we lost a track you know in the in the studies you know we could not study for for more than a, for more than one month for more than two or three weeks you know so it is very very normal for people to lose a track but he as he is saying he is to study consistently he did all the things whatever was required you know so this is really appreciable and and this is something which which involves lots of hard work you know so because of his hard work also you know he is well he is today you know so he was he was able to clear the exam and that too with a very good score so you know uh, you know i would also like to congratulate you for your hard work for your efforts you know and and for you trusting us you know to uh, for, for the entire journey for the entire process okay so my next question to you is you know whatever advice you know you would like to give to the future cisa aspirants you know um, any kind of message any kind of uh, your personal tips your personal uh, things which you would like to you know uh, uh, like uh, 
uh, like inform them or whatever it is like whatever difficulties which you have faced whatever it could be any tips tricks whatever things you know yeah yeah uh, first uh, there are many friends actually they want to start but they don't start so they have a dream to start but uh, actually uh, they they should start there should be some point so they should start uh, and uh, and if you take uh, the entire study i did around uh, 2000 questions yeah official qa there are 1000 and uh, you have in your app there are, there are additionally 1000 questions so if you have prepared for 2000 questions so you can easily uh, solve uh, 150 question at the end so that is uh, second and uh, more than the passing exam while doing uh, cisa actually it's uh, it's you will learn lot of things it will help uh, while you are doing audit and sometime it will help for your personal life also there are lot of things to learn lot of uh, things to learn and uh, uh, you don't want to worry uh, about your technical uh, uh, skill actually you can take me uh, as a example yeah. uh, when i was started <laughs> i feel uh, the uh, uh, domain 3 and 4 are uh, difficult uh, domains but uh, i spend lot of time on uh, those uh, domains and actually compared to other domains those domains are interesting and uh, you, you can do a lot of things yeah actually uh, the the most technical domain is domain 5 you know so there yeah. it is very vast like when you when you do domain 5 you you feel that domain 3 and 4 were actually easy we uh, yeah, yeah we might uh, <laughs> we might uh, feel that you know domain 3 or 4 is difficult but then uh, you know once you uh, you know go through entire domain 5 you understand that or oh, domain 5 you know it it is more technical but again you know in the exam you know uh, see you have to understand everything you have to understand the co- concepts you must understand the technical things you know because if you understand that those things other things becomes very easy for you in the exam things won't be that much technical but if you understand those things technically you know you will be able to uh, solve those questions very very confidently in the exam hall yeah 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 so yeah yeah you want to say something uh yeah actually uh, uh the domain 5 and yeah domain 5 though it is a technical uh yeah yeah but uh, in your uh, cisa this much how, how we have uh, design uh, so you, you can understand any concept no issue <laughs> yeah. yeah okay yeah so thank you so much for joining us and sharing your entire experience with us we wish you more success for the future in whichever field you are you will get lots of success thank you thank you so much and uh, thank you sir actually uh, <laughs> yeah you, you mentioned uh, it's uh, because of my hard work but uh, my hard work and interest actually increased because of uh, your that uh, content and uh, you have created that confidence actually that's that's uh, that's created a lot of uh, energy and uh, uh, a lot of confidence uh, within me to do more and actually i targeted some more score around uh, 650 yeah. or 700 yeah, yeah but... this is something you know he he was yeah. he was uh, saying yeah. that you know i was expecting more than 650 but i could only score 608 yeah. i yeah. told him 608 it is very very good score you know people don't even right. reach to to that extent you know so so your current score itself is so good you know but yeah. he was saying that you know yeah, he was expecting uh, you know more than that you know he was very confident you know after giving the exam you know yeah about the scores but i you... took uh, that uh, as a challenge actually because uh, uh, with knowing a little uh, knowledge in it background so so i want to show this uh, this we can <laughs> and we can get good score yeah yeah that's the okay. okay so thank you for sharing your experience thank you sir thank you